Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Rowe. We're looking in geometry part A. This is lesson 14. And we're going to look at how to use GeoGebra to do a glide reflection. So this is number four and five in your lesson content. So pay attention as you're um, doing that to this video because I'm going to show you exactly what you got to do. So it's real simple. Uh, first of all, we're going to use GeoGebra Classic. GeoGebra Classic is a lot more user friendly than the new version of GeoGebra, so make sure you're using GeoGebra Classic. You, when, you, when, you, when you do your search, just, just do GeoGebra. Classic is going to be one of the options that pops up, so use GeoGebra Classic. So here is GeoGebra. It, it's just a graphing calculator that graphs shapes and does all the little neat things that we like to do in geometry. So here is what we're going to do. We're going to do a glide reflection of triangle A, B, C. Here is triangle A, B, and C. So what does this rule mean? Remember, when you read the rule, you always read the second thing first. So we're going to translate, or we're going to reflect triangle A, B, C over the y-axis first, and then we're going to translate it seven units down. Now, how did I get seven units down? Well, the vector right here is zero, negative seven. So that means that the x values don't change. We're not going to move it left or right. We're just going to move it down seven units. So that is the rule. And then we're going to use GeoGebra Classic to do this. So how do we do this now? Here's GeoGebra. And I'm just going to show you if you go here and you search GeoGebra. GeoGebra. See, one of the options is GeoGebra Classic. And we're going to click GeoGebra Classic, and you see it pops right up to the graphing calculator. You have no other steps. That's it. That's GeoGebra Classic. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these points, and we're going to copy them into the, um, the function tools right here. So you can actually copy these. So if you wanted to copy that, so Control-C, Control-V. Now, the only thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add an equal sign right there, and that makes it pop up a point. So there's the points. There's point A. Control C, Control V. Equal. There's point B. And then here is point C. I'm going to do that. There we go. So there are our three points. So now we have to make it into a triangle. Well, across the top are all the tools we're going to need to use to do this. Here is the polygon tool right here. So we're going to click that. We're going to click polygon. And you notice right down at the bottom, when I do that, it tells me to select all the vertices and then select the first vertex again. I'm going to click the vertices. And then go right back to the beginning and that completes the polygon. You get some information over here. That'll be useful in some other things, but not for what we're doing today. So the first thing we have to do is we have to reflect this triangle over the y-axis. Well, that's real simple. There's a tool for that. So we're just going to come right across here, and this one right here is the translation, reflection, and rotation tools. So we're going to click reflect about a line, just like that. And right down here, it tells you to select the object to reflect, then the line of reflection. So we're going to select the object. Well, what are we reflecting over? We're reflecting over the y-axis, so we're just going to come right here, click the y-axis, and there is the reflection. And there, if you look right over here, here are all the points of that reflection. There's B prime, A prime, and C prime. So you've got all your points right there, ready to access if you need them. So now what's the second part? We're going to translate seven units down. Now GeoGebra translates by something called a vector. Vectors are... are things that tell you a distance and a direction. So right here, we're going under the same tool that we use. We're going to translate about a vector. Now down here, it says to select the object to translate, then the vector. So now here is what you got to do. Select the object. We're translating the image. So we have to select the first, or the, the image, not the pre-image. Then we're going to select a point. So I'm going to select point A, and you notice this vector starts to grow right here. So I have to go seven units down, so I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, click, and there is the glide reflection. So once you get this, you've got the points over here as well. See, there's B prime, B double prime, A double prime, and C double prime. So you've got all your points that you need. And this is the picture you need. So you just take a screenshot of this and slide that screenshot into your Google Doc. And you've got these uh, glide reflections completed. So I hope this helps you complete those glide reflections. If you still have trouble with those, please set up an appointment for a help session so I can walk you through the process.